For Harris Rosen, hospitality is big business. He owns seven hotels in the Orlando Tourism District. But for Rosen, hospitality means so much more. I was sitting at my desk and I did hear a voice that said, it, it's time for you to give back. You know, God has been very good to you. And the best way to say thank you is to provide some help for those that need a helping hand. Rosen himself grew up as part of an immigrant family living in the slum district called the Bowery on New York's South Side, so he knows firsthand the challenges that many families face. In the shadows of Rosen's hotels on the I Drive corridor sits the community of Tangelo Park. 20 years ago, it was a neighborhood plagued by high crime, drugs, depressed property values, and an unacceptable dropout rate. 20 years ago, it was like impossible for you to walk through the neighborhood. It was so drug infested. You couldn't even walk to the store. That's just how bad it was. That might discourage most, but Harris Rosen saw an opportunity. I was thinking at this moment that how am I going to give back and demonstrate my gratitude? And I knew it had to do with education. In 1994, Rosen set up a program that offers free childcare and preschool for all two, three, and four-year-olds in Tangelo Park. And when a neighborhood student graduates high school, the cost of that student's college education is covered as well. What has happened is that when a child is born in Tangelo Park, mom and dad know that this child is gonna get off to a great start. And then they know that if their child wants to go to technical school or community college or college, it's taken care of, it's done. And so what we've done in this little neighborhood is infused something as simple as hope. Hope, yeah. You can aspire to, to be whatever you want. It changes the whole psychology of, of, of the neighborhood. Tangela Park, amazing. Since the program began, Nearly 700 kids have gone through the early education program. Over 280 have attended college or vocational school. I think it's rewarding. It's to know that the work we're doing is worth doing. And it's good to know that, you know, there's somebody like Mr. Rosen who cares enough to never give up, to always be there. And we know we have that safety net, and so we're providing that safety net for the children as well. Georgia Gordon's daughter and grandson were two of those who attended college thanks to the program. It was just awesome to know that there's somebody out there, you know, caring about my education, about my future. It meant a lot to me. You have choices, military, community college, uh, vocational school, or college. Is, is that an incentive? Does that help? Absolutely. To be one of those people that was able to take advantage of that opportunity, it's a, it means a lot to me, and I, I think Mr. Rosen, um, I don't know if he realizes you know, the impact that it has on someone's life, but it really had a very you know, high impact on my life. God sent, God sent. My daughter had a complete scholarship. She was able to focus on her grades and graduate on time and everything, and now she has a very good job, very good job, and I'm grateful for that. What I've seen happen in this community is I've seen it grow, I've seen it thrive, and I've seen it prosper. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that uh, Mr. Rosen has given hope, hope for the future of Tangelo Park. And the future obviously starts with, with the kids. Over these past 21 years, the crime rate in Tangelo Park has dropped by more than half, and the graduation rate has increased from about 25% to nearly 100%. Most everyone that went through the two-year-old program does go on to some kind of college or vo vocational school. There are a lot of people in this world that have the means to do things, but they talk about it. Mr. Rosen doesn't talk about it. He actually does it. He's sitting in the room because he wants to be involved, and he wants to be involved in the success of that community. I want you guys to listen very carefully to a sound I'm going to make, and then I want you guys to see if you can make this sound. Ready? Okay, watch, watch. Watch very carefully. I believe there is as much intellectual talent in the most underserved neighborhoods as there is in the most affluent gated communities. Now, I know that's a preposterous statement to make, but if you talk to these kids, you will absolutely be blown away. Of the United States of America. That intellectual capacity is there 
we just have to give them a chance. I love you all. You guys are wonderful. And one day, each one of you will have an opportunity to go to college. Yes, you will. The Rosen Foundation is now partnering with Orange County Public Schools to help build a new state-of-the-art school in the Paramore District of downtown Orlando. What my dream is, we'll have a program similar to what we're going to be doing here and what we've done in Tangelo Park for nearly 21 years. And if that happens, no, let's scratch the word if, when that happens, We will change America one community at a time. We said, Mr. Rosen, how long will you be doing this? Do we have to worry about? He said, when the homes in Tangelo Park become $1 million and the community becomes gated, then I'll leave.